to ask is, uh, why am I so insistent upon it? No, time. I've taken time to explain to me anything about the Greeks coming to Egypt and to Nubia and to Ethiopia, depending on who they were, to receive their earliest education, those who had not gone to a little colony, a little enclave in what was then called Lebos, now called Libya, to receive their first glimpse into education taught by Africans. Let us just, for example, cite one. And that particular person would be Hippocrates. And I'm sure that you heard of Hippocrates. And when you consider that Hippocrates wasn't born until 333 BC, or before the Common Era, yet in your education you were told that Hippocrates is the father of medicine. That's a lie. There's no way that I can say about it other than it's a lie. A lie is a lie, whether it's in the university or in the church. How could Hippocrates be the father of medicine when the first time you see him he is in Egypt learning medicine from Africans? There are numerous papyri, medical papyri on medicine. The nearest to Hippocrates is at least 1,300 years before he was born. For example, we have what is known as the, as the uh, Hetus Papyrus, the Ebers Papyrus, and now the so-called Rockefeller Papyrus, the Edwin C. Smith Papyrus, all of these papyri go back to as early as 3100 B.C. Just as it was in Egypt that engineering, Sesostris II, you are engineers, many of you, Sesostris II changed the flow of the Nile. That S-turn you see there was placed there by African engineers in 2250 B.C. Oh yes, you have been told a lot of lies. No other way to talk about it. And those who teach them, if in fact they did any research, must know they are alive. You see, you have been taught by Alex Haley and others that your history started in the slave trade. But you went into Spain, which was then called Iberia, Spain and, and, and Portugal and southern France, as conquerors yourself in 711, under the leadership of Tariq, for whom the rock of Gibraltar is now named Gibraltar. Nothing in your education, because there's nothing in your textbooks about any of this. I hadn't known that the Africans called Moors had ruled Spain from 711 until 1485. The last of them losing power at a place called Granada. And all because I have made my mind that my people aren't to be taught that they come out of a, drop out of a sky as slaves and were slaves. And every time you see a movie from Washington DC or anything, whatever the period, the only time you see us, we are slaves. 